Yeah, hello everybody. Hope you're doing good today. I want to talk here about the shared mailboxes and where things go to when you send an email from a shared mailbox. Where does that email go? Does it go into the sent items of the shared mailbox itself or does it go into the user's sent items? Now, the default setting you'll find is actually that it will go into the user's sent items. So if I were to give an example of that, we've got uh, Buck Rogers here, Cozy Mouse, you've seen him before, and he's got access to the finance uh, shared mailbox. Now, the, this is using the new version of Outlook, the Monarch version. It happens exactly the same way with the original version. I'm just going to use this one because it's the it's the more current version. But if we were to send an email and we send it as finance, look where it ends up. We've just got a new mail here and we'll do the send as. We'll have to go and turn on the from and we'll send it as finance and send it to me. Testing send items, blah, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter, right? So we just send that email. Now, what it'll do is once it goes out, you would have expected it to, to jump into this sent items for the finance box, but it doesn't. It's not there. It's sitting in the sent items here of the user that sends it. Now, that's that could be problematic if you're sharing a mailbox, which obviously the, the definition is it's a shared mailbox. You'd expect more than one finance person to be sending emails in here. And if you're both replying or three people replying to different things at different times, how do you know that someone's replied to that mail because it's not showing up in the sent items? It's nothing there. So what we need to do is find a way so that the emails that you send as finance, all of them from anybody sending as finance, go into this folder for sent items and not this one. And you know what? As luck would have it, there is actually a command you can run on the shared mailbox to make that change. So it will store it into the sent items and it's done on a per shared mailbox level. So it is a setting in that particular mailbox. It's not a, an overlying uh, tenant uh, command that you're going to run. So it is quite granular. You can do it on different mailboxes. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to connect into Exchange Online and we'll show you what the command is. So now we're in here just to show you if we do get mailbox and finance, you'll see that it's living here. All good there. Now what we'll do is the command we need to run to make that work is set mailbox and then the mailbox name. We just use finance, we just use the alias to grab that. And it is called message copy or as you can see there, sent as enabled and you say true. It really is as simple as that. Bam, done. And that will make that change to the mailbox and it will take effect pretty much immediately to be honest. Now, something to note here is that notice it says message copy for sent as enabled is true. Now, what that means it's going to do is it's going to place the copy of the sent items in the sent items for the person that has been sending the email. It's not going to stop that, but it will take a copy of that sent item and place it into the mailbox or the shared mailboxes um, sent items as well. So you're going to get two uh, mails appear in the sent items because that's obviously what it's saying. It's making a copy of the message um, for people that use a sent as and I'll put it in the mail. But anyway, let me show you it in action. Let me show you what it actually does when you run that. So we come back to the Outlook screen. We'll say new mail and options there just from, and it's going to be obviously from finance. We'll put myself in there again. So we'll call this one, let's say we call it test five. Hi there. Now what I'm expecting here is that it's going to go, I'm in the sent items for Bucks Mailbox. As you can see there, it goes, jumps straight into the, to the sent items and it's gone to, uh, to me, there's a subject line, but what we want to check out is what's it done down here. If we look at the finance sent items, there we go, and there it is. So it sent it from finance, and there's our subject, which is obviously the mail we just sent. So there we go. That's taken effect, as I, as I said, virtually immediately, and it really has that effect that it will go into the sent items for the user and also in the sent items for the shared mailbox which so anybody that's accessing the shared mailbox can see that that has actually been sent which is uh, obviously what we want to do now what i would, will do is i'm just going to jump back into the uh, powershell window there for us because what we want to do is be able to look up that setting on any other mailbox and just see uh, see what other uh, mailboxes might have that so what you could do is just run it across all of the mailboxes uh, that are shared and and see what those settings look like I'm just going to jump into a, another PowerShell window, a bit Blue Peter-ish. Anybody's old enough to remember that show is like, here's one I prepared earlier. 
Uh, but you can see here, I've just got a couple of commands we can run. Uh, firstly is obviously the command to get all of the shared mailboxes. Now on this particular tenant, guess what? There's one. So it's going to respond with just one, the finance one we've just seen. But otherwise you'd see a whole list of them. But this one here is quite useful because it will show you well, the details, obviously the, the name of the mailbox, but it will also then show you just the uh, anything related to that message copy. So if we run that one, you'll get that. And you'd run that, you get a whole list of those shared mailboxes. You can see which ones are set and which ones are not. And from an audit purpose, it would be quite handy to see, I would say. So there you go. That's the end of that session for you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Please subscribe to the channel. I obviously appreciate it when you do. Check out the cloudgeezer.com, uh, the website. Got some good tools on there. Got that discovery tool and that other cloud OCM piece that we've been working on as well, which is which is good to, to have. Nice little shameless plug at the end of this video for that one. If you've managed to get this far, uh, please go check it out. But otherwise, have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend, wherever in the world you are. Appreciate you. See you later. Bye.